So question number 14 is just continuing about continuing with the uh, aggregate queries. Okay. So, here we are saying what is the average weight of students who are taller than 73 inches. So, once again you can clearly see that in order to calculate the average weight of a bunch of students, the result can be computed only from multiple rows. right? So, every row of the output, in, in this case the output will have only one row right? because you are just saying what is the average of this thing. It is going to be just one single number in fact and that number, whatever that average is, is going to be computed based on many rows. So, once again this is an example of an aggregate query and I strongly encourage you to go back and look at the slides and the videos actually where I have explained this whole idea in some great detail with, with examples. So, if you are not 100 percent clear with this you should go back and look at the video. Okay? So, once again we are saying okay, uh, we want select this time we want average and uh, there is a different aggregate function that SQL provides for computing the average and the name of the function is AVG. Okay? Since we want the average weight, we say AVG weight. Unlike count star, where we are only counting the number of rows and the actual columns are immaterial. So, we just say star. Whereas, in this particular case, you cannot compute the average of multiple columns unless you write average, average, average separately. Okay? So, you have to specify which column it is whose average you are seeking and in this case we say average weight. Once again we say from students and we can put in the condition. This time we are saying taller than 73 not at least 73. right? So, therefore, you have to use the strict greater than sign not greater than or equal to. Okay? So, once again it is going to go to the students table it is going to take only those students whose height is greater than 73 inches. So, it is going to be left with probably a subset of the students and then it is going to compute the average weight for all those students. Okay? So, once again the final result average is computed based on many rows. Okay? Unlike non-aggregate queries where every row of the output comes from exactly one row of the input. 